All right, you guys, I have my first pumpkin drink of the season, which I am so excited about. So let's do this. Okay, here is the first item. This is a trick-or-treating candy bucket that I found at Home Goods. I have actually been looking for a candy bucket for a few years now. I really love the hammered detail that this has, as well as that rose gold metallic color. It is metal, and so I'm kind of hoping that over the years, this kind of takes on more of like a age, vintage-y, antique look so I'm hoping that it kind of rusts a little bit a little bit more distressed you can see I paid $14.99 for this and now that I'm kind of giving this a better look I'm able to see some distressing marks already which I really like so I'm hoping that this paint kind of continues to chip off and it's just able to have more of like an old aged appearance when I found this uh, at Home Goods last weekend, there were quite a few different sizes. There was a larger size and I believe two smaller sizes, definitely one smaller size, but we'll definitely be able to stick a lot of candy in here and hopefully fill up at least a few trick-or-treaters uh, Halloween bags. Since we have kids, we're never home to provide candy to our trick-or-treaters. So now that we have this, I will be able to just set this out on our front porch. So this is going to come in handy. Hopefully there will be trick-or-treating this year with all of the craziness that's going on in the world. Next up, I found this really cute little pumpkin patch wall decor sign. This came from TJ Maxx. Um, I just really loved what it said. I loved the look of it. If you guys have been around on my channel for some time now, you know that I love little signs like this. I think it is a very easy and cost-effective way to kind of spruce up and decorate. I also really love more of a neutral look uh, as we change throughout the seasons and so I thought that this one was perfect. There's just a few pops of orange and even the orange on this is nothing too bright or bold. It's kind of like a muted toned down orange which is definitely my vibe for this year and probably many years to come. Here is the price tag on this one. I paid $12.99. Next up we have another sign, again from TJ Maxx. This just says pumpkin patch. I thought that this was adorable. It definitely has that same color scheme and I just thought that this was so cute. This one is rather small. It's perfect for a countertop. These are just so easy to just pop up on a shelf and you're good to go. You have some really cute decor. It's still nice and neutral. I love, love, love these signs. And there is the price tag on this one. It was $5. Moving on, I found these two little adorable jack-o'-lanterns. I thought that these were so cute. I love the color orange that they are in. They have like some shine to them, but again, they're not like super bright or bold. And these two are also metal. So I wanted to find some decor for our backyard. We've really put a lot of time working on our backyard and just kind of giving it a makeover and a refresh that it so badly needed. And so we spent a ton of time working on it this summer and now that it's kind of where we've always wanted it, uh, we definitely spend a lot more time out there, which has been awesome. And so I wanted to find some outdoor decor that I can incorporate into our backyard and kind of just give our backyard that fall, harvesty, autumn vibe as well. And I thought that these would be perfect. Again, I do not mind if they rust or weather, uh, just being outside in the elements. That is kind of my hope for these as well. And here are the tags for these. I paid $8 for the larger one and $5 for the smaller one. Next up, I found this adorable wooden jack-o'-lantern. Again, with that nice neutral toned down orange color and the pops of just neutral colors with this brown wooden stem and this really cute like ivory colored uh, ribbon. I just thought that this was so cute. If you guys watched my hauls from last year from both fall and Christmas, you guys know I am such a sucker for these really heavy wooden pieces 
of seasonal decor. I love the look of the real wood. I love how heavy and durable they are. I also really love that you would have to try pretty hard to break these. Having kids, having dogs, I'm really trying to bring into my home items that I know will stand the test of time, uh, especially with my nine-year-old son. He is all over the place, throwing balls, running around, jumping, you name it, it's like a jungle gym in here. So I always try to steer away from the delicate and fragile pieces of decor. And now that I am able to find these really nice, sturdy, durable pieces of decor, I am all for it. I paid $13 for this, which I thought was such a good deal. If you guys could feel this, it is just super heavy. This is probably the piece that I am the most excited to bring into my Halloween decor this year. Moving on, I found this fall sign from Hobby Lobby. I thought that this was adorable. I thought the price was really good. So originally this was supposed to be $20. I paid $10 for it. All of the autumn decor at Hobby Lobby when I went uh, was 50% off. And I love the colors. I love how neutral it is. It also has that like shiplap look to it. I love the stained wooden uh, frame around this one. I just thought that this one looked so cute, especially for the price. There's another find from Hobby Lobby. This is a really cute buffalo check or garland. I love the combo of the black and white mixed with the burlap. I just think it's so cute. I do have it folded, so there you can see um, how it looks on its own. This is six feet in length. It was originally marked at $10. I paid $5 for it, which again, I thought was a pretty good price. Um, and I probably would have gotten at least one, maybe two more, but this was the last one that I could find. So I think whether it's just like draped over a shelf or a cabinet, or if it's actually like hanging somewhere, I think this is going to be a really cute and easy way to give any space really um, those fall harvesty vibes. Next up, another find from TJ Maxx. This is a really beautiful metal wind chime. It has this amazing brass color. It already kind of looks antiqued. Um, I just love this. I have really gotten into wind chimes this summer. Like I said, uh, spending time outside in our backyard has been our go-to spot this year, and wind chimes are just my jam. I love the sounds, I love the looks. I just love the peaceful, tranquil, vibes. So this one is going to be replacing a seashell wind chime that I've had out there for the summer. I love that one, but to me it just reads so much more summer, spring, and this one I just thought was so appropriate for the fall months. I love the leaves, I love the color like I said. Again, with the metal material, I'm hoping that it continues to weather and continues to get more of an aged look. I paid $10 for this. Here you can see the gorgeous brass colored leaves. I just think that this is so pretty and so peaceful. Next up, this is another really exciting find. Um, I came across this at Kirkland's and I know I used a coupon. I think I used a 20% off coupon. The original price tag of this is $29.99, but I love this sign so much that I would have bought it at full price. Um, it's big, it's sturdy, it's a mixture of metal and wood. This sign is going to be going right out to our backyard as well, and it is just going to be replacing more of a summery patio type of sign that I got uh, earlier this year. I love that like warm, coppery color. It's like, kind of got some like darker marks throughout this. I just think it's amazing. This is my sign for sure this year. I love what it says also and I think it's going to look so good hanging up in our backyard. I am really excited to style 
uh, our backyard for the fall season. So if you're interested in this piece, you could definitely just head over to Kirkland's and I'm sure they still have this one available. Um, but that is what I love about Kirkland's. You can always find a coupon and most of the time if I see something on Instagram that I like from there, or if I see something on somebody's uh, YouTube haul from Kirkland's, I know that I'll most likely be able to find it. Here is a close-up of those like popped out letters. This sign is just absolutely gorgeous, I think. All right, lastly, for this haul, I have this amazing candle. This is a six wick candle that is filled inside of a gorgeous wooden dough bowl. Uh, this candle wasn't cheap. I don't think I've ever paid this much money for a candle before, but, but because of its size and because of what it comes in, I figured I'd go ahead and splurge on a candle for once. But here is the good news about this. Uh, once this candle is gone, once it's been burned to its entirety, uh, you're actually able to buy a refill of the wax in any scent that you choose, which this site, this website, this company has so many scents to choose from and quite a few scents that I am really, really interested in. I'm hoping that this candle will last a long time. I can tell just by opening it and, and taking it out of the box today as soon as it arrived. Uh, the smell is very strong and fragrant, which is what I was hoping for. I definitely uh, wanted a scent that was going to fill up my space. I'm just hoping that it burns really nicely, evenly, and lasts a while. I believe I got the Harvest Time scent. I'm hoping that when I do purchase a wax refill for this, um, pouring it and just getting it to look like this uh, is also pretty simple. I will definitely give you guys an update. And I will leave the company's website down below in case you are interested in purchasing one of these really big, beautiful candles for yourself. All right, you guys, that about does it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you back for my next one. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you could please give this video a like, I would really appreciate that. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.